The Member of Parliament for Shamar in the Western Region, Atul Panford, has told City News he will be making a statement on the floor of Parliament to demand the appearance of the Lands and Natural Resources Minister to answer questions on illegal clay mining activities in the district. The Shamar MP, who was responding to City News's report about the unregulated activity causing harm to the environment, said such illegalities cannot be allowed to continue as they undermine the President's war against illegal mining. City News' Akwesia Jayanim reports. Since the establishment of the Twyford Keda Ceramics Factory at Abwazi in the Shamar District and Wankan in the Sekanita Kradi Metropolis, the Shamar District has become a hotbed for illegal clay mining, while the District Assembly, the Environmental Protection Agency and the Minerals Commission look unconcerned. Following City News' reportage on the environmentally devastating nature of the clay mining, which is a raw material for the factories, the District Assembly gave a directive for the miners to hold their activities. However, the miners say they have business operating permits and have been paying reclamation fees to the Assembly. I've paid the reclamation, 10000 and I've paid BOP. This year, I've paid part. Who did you pay the money? Who did you pay the money? I have the receipt here. You can pick from the receipt. Where did you pay the money? I've, I paid it at the Municipal Assembly. We don't have a municipal assembly, we have a district assembly. District assembly, yeah. Where did you pay the money? I paid it at the district assembly. Is it, they have a revenue office, where did you pay it? Yes, I have the receipt here. Is it, is it, where did you pay it? Is it where did you pay the money? I paid it at the revenue office. Yeah, revenue office. Yes, sir. Let me see. For reclamation? Reclamation, I paid 10,000. The district budget analyst admitted the claims by the miners, but with a justification. Some of them think that if they are able to get some receipt of a sort from assembly a, a invariable is like a mandate being given them to mine so that is why they do everything possible to make some payments here and there but at their meeting they were test we spoke to them that payments should be held on except for those who owe the assembly and then already some of them mined at more than one site in the year 2019 and the earlier arrangement we had with them was to pay 20000 for each acre of land that they mined. And some of them mined on even three, four sites without the knowledge of the assembly. For the MP of Shamar, the district assembly has no business collecting reclamation fee and must rather collaborate with the regulators to end the environmentally destructive mining. He is therefore seeking to make a statement on the subject at the floor of parliament. All what we need to do as an assembly is to ensure that they have conformed with both Minerals Commission and EPA before even. You know. But it is in my interest to know, to, for you to know that you know they claim that some of these activities are done even the night. It's an environmental matter and it becomes a security matter. But if the assembly is looking at it from a financial point to raise revenue, then it's wrong. Assembly cannot charge you know her fees and. You can un, un, unless it's being approved by Parliament. The best thing for me to do, there are two, to use those, you know, uh, is to do a statement on the floor of Parliament, and then the Speaker will direct. Or to invite the Minister to come and answer questions. The Shamar MP, however, charged Twyfor Kida Ceramics to show responsibility by rejecting illegally mined clay. I I, I know the directors of. Uh, uh, Twyford, you know, Kida. I'll open a private conversation with them. And as I trigger that statement on the floor of Parliament, we all should uh, and look at their protocols in terms of how they receive their raw material. Do they have any ethical way in terms of that they've given them some protocols that, you know, if you bring, you, if we want to receive your material, we expect that your operations, your activity, conforms to the EP, you know, uh, recommendations or standards. I visited Twyford Ceramics Factory, which buys the clay as raw material for the manufacturing of towels, in spite of the damage to the environment. The purchasing officer at the Twyford Ceramics Factory announced Malik, who received me, left me at the factory's conference room to seek permission for an interview, but never returned. After waiting for an hour, this Chinese national told me that he is the administrative officer, but the right person to speak to me was on his way to China. To date, Twyfor K Ceramics is here to speak on the matter. For City News, I'm Akwesi Ejenim.
Supom Dungwao in the Shamar district.